What are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. <laughs> but anyway, Tosh, uh, Cobra Kai, uh, oh, I man. I binge watched uh, episode. You six. watched it all last night. Yes, I binge watched six through ten all last night. Um, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it was worth it. Um, it it was it was very much worth it. Uh, I had to this start on show, Friday. You might have to get reactions out, bro. Yeah, I, I I I'm not reacting to Cobra Kai. I might rewatch it from the beginning and do like reactions just to like see what I missed. Cause when I started, somebody watching, asked I, me to do that, and I'm I started like, watching I'm it during COVID. That. So like, I, I want to see oh, what no, I missed. I, and, I've like, been watching this since it was on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, I, I started during COVID because I like I'm I was running out of shows to watch. So I'm like, let's let me watch some. And then when I got into Cobra Kai, just like like it hooked me. Like the show was just good. Like it, I I I started remembering the stuff from like uh, the Karate Kid, like the callbacks that they do or whatever. So yeah. So uh, right off the bat, I want to say uh, the Miyagi glazing was at all time high. All time. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Oh, no, I it saw wasn't. that. I saw that. Okay, okay. It, it wasn't as bad as it was in the first half. He was just trying to figure out what happened with the the band, the the, the bandana, with I, the Sakai Taka. That was I, it, though. I, I get it, small. but that led that led him to getting kidnapped. But it also led to a great callback to one of the kicks that he used in like one of his first tournaments, which I liked. I liked that. Well, but, did you recognize he used all three of the moves that he won in yeah. all three of the movies? Yeah, like like I I I really like those callbacks. Like they they throw a lot of that stuff in there. A and how ironic is it that they brought back one of the random dudes that was running around with Mike Barnes? Yeah, in the I, fucking I, third movie, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? His wife was like, who? <laughs> and then when they brought the flashback up, I was like, oh, oh this guy, a name yeah. guy. Okay, I guess it's, it's always like that. But then they brought back. Was you shocked that they brought back Silver? No, but I knew they was going to bring him back. They could not finish this show without bringing him back. I'm sorry. The fact he's a, he's he a just, better villain than Kreese. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, easily. Chris is just boring now. Like, like, like he's been, he been boring like since the, like season three. He's the doddering old man that can't fight anymore. <laughs> he just he scares always, kids. And he always talking about war. Like, he, nigga, yeah, you need like, therapy. You need to do what Terry Silva did. I'm glad they stopped alone, doing the war flashbacks. I'm so glad they stopped. Doing actually, no, I actually like those. Those are the only times I could deal with. I was, ti- uh, I was tired of seeing Kreese. it. I'm sorry. I was tired of seeing I'm tired of seeing Crease, period. Talking oh, yeah, about something. I, you didn't hear? I was exonerated. Like, no, you should. You're trying. You're actively trying to kill somebody right now. You should be in jail. I think they should have left him in jail. I don't think they should have got him out. Yeah, definitely. I think Terry should have been the villain from when he came in onwards. But if he'd have left Terry Silva alone, he'd have been chilling because that man had got therapy. He got a smoking ass wife. He got a mansion and money. Like when they reintroduced Terry, he seemed relatively normal. Like I'm like, oh, okay. He was having cocktail parties. <laughs> okay, he got some he got some sense now. And then boom, snap of a hat. Nope, he's still crazy. Still- no, it's crazy because even when he came back, he actually wanted to teach them karate the right way. And then Kreese got into his head. Yeah. Sadness. Part two was amazing. Part two was amazing. No, part two was amazing. I get what you were saying with how, like, the story had to come full circle because uh, Robbie was It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense at all. Like, Like, Robbie story arc made no sense. Like, losing, like, dude was losing every fight. The first because episode, would, I was because he would look at Tor because he would look at his ex. Like, bro, I'm not letting no. No, the first, have the first my episode wide open. No, no, the first episode I understood. They ain't know she was gonna show up, so him being thrown off made sense in the first episode, episode six. But seven, I was like, dude, what are y'all doing to him? He's never been like this. Stop. Like, they do him bad in every season, though. So I'm like, I'm not surprised. That I'm be completely honest. It's just how it's just how Miguel had to put him in his place. Like I'm like, let him know, Miguel. Like y'all brothers, but like it, it takes this type. No, of No, I ain't like love. that either. Really, I love that. No, the tough love part was fine, but when he made it about himself, I was like, see, this is what I didn't like. I mean, you knew how much that meant for me. They shouldn't have. Con- Whether he wins the psychotica or not, that's not going to sway fucking college admissions at Stanford to let you in. I'm sorry, no, they shouldn't have hooked that up to the college. Thing. That's true. And I told people that during the trailer, when they dropped the part two trailer, I said, if this scene, I feel like it's going to be more to the scene. And they was telling me to chill out in the comments. I was like, no, Cobra Kai writers brought up Daniel and Johnny's BS at the, in the last episode of part one. I was like, they're going to do something. And they did do it. 
I mean, I, me I, I get it. I, I get it. I get it to a certain extent. It's the, just, arc, feel... the, arc, the arc between them two, it didn't make sense. Because where it ended in episode nine is not how it started. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, like, they, I get what they were trying to do. The execution was off. It was bad. Uh, what else didn't make sense? The fact that Kreese turned Quan, like, he let loose a monster and nobody was trying to get that dude under control. Well, and Daniel, we... Daniel was trying to get to him and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see how the end of like people. did Axel not see the knife at first. Well, you gotta think about it. Everybody was trying to jump him. He was the biggest thing in the room. True. When Quan got up, he I think he turned back at Quan, or no, Quan tucked the knife like backwards, so he didn't see it. It was like hiding behind the arm part. You and know, so when you, he went and did the kick, that's when he landed on it. Like yeah, you, you know what they say: the scream heard around the world. Everybody heard that. Yeah, the I mean, whole thing stopped. got quiet, like because when he landed, he just ah. And then I was like, if Chris and Johnny and Silva heard that, and they all the way in the back room, I was saying Silva. Silva was the first one to stop. Yeah, like he's a like, huh. And then Chris walked out like, like oh, no, this dude, is on this him. Is, this is your this fault, is you yeah. big old dummy. You came back starting wars with teenagers, you buffoon. And and the fact that like all of those people, st- the only people that did not want that bra- brawl was like Miyagi Do. I'm like, y'all the only teenagers in this world with sense. Like they did not want that brawl, but I knew it had to be some big fight. Every season has a ridiculously big fight. Yeah. It's like it's it's like when um. Oh, when, this when blows and, the school fight out. Yeah, of the world. yeah, it definitely like, does. But it's just like I was I was sitting there thinking like. <laughs> Cobra Kai, like they 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 literally do what we be telling people in real life to do, like like put the weapons down and just fight. Like like Anthony Anthony and Kenny, like he walks up on the things like I didn't do it. Then all of a sudden they just start like full blown karate. Like it ain't no. Well, that's because he called like, him a bitch. Your, yeah, but it's still like like you start a full blown karate fight. Like in real life, it's just like let's throw hands. No, y'all doing flying butterfly kicks and and backflip. I said, no, well, let's be honest. What? Anthony had no business even putting up remotely slightly a little bit of a fight against Kenny. I'm sorry. Hell no. Cobra Kai need to hey, stop nerfing their characters, bro, for story no, plot. Kenny is stop cold, but shit. Kenny is cold, but Anthony got cold too. Like you you can't no, doubt he his, not, his bro. Figure. We're not bro, doing this. Bro, we watched him grow up from that little pudgy fat kid. Like the fact that we seen this man grow he was up. He's a fat is little crazy. bitch, man. I hated him. He was so bad. Anthony, bro. He didn't he was... start learning karate till literally season five. No, no, hell no. And he wasn't even good. <laughs> he sure wasn't. He sucked. <laughs> Devin, Devin got introduced in season four and surpassed anything. Him, Dimitri. Yeah, no, Dimitri. speaking of Dimitri. He pissed me Joe, off. You thought you was doing something and ended up kicking Hawk off too? Yeah, that I'm pissed like, me yeah. off too. I said, bro, you so mad. And then, hey, well, uh. Hawk called him. He said, "You stop fucking talking about MIT for one second. Like, geez, like, like no, I was with him. Don't nobody care about that, bro. Like, this is not the time. Like, he was annoying as shit, especially when Kenny came back. Yeah, him and Hawk was pissing me off. I was like, bro, do you really trust Kenny? Like, bro, shut up. I was like, look who fucking trained him, Robbie. I'm like, silver and shut up." I'm like, like, shut up. Like, do you really? Ch- yes, I, I trust Kenny. I'm like, please don't. I He's trust not him more than you. Down. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 you getting mad at, uh, acting like Hawk did that on purpose with his girl. First of all, your girl need to be more secure. Honestly, it was just a dance. I can understand if you, like, tongue the girl down. Yeah, that situation was weird. But you just like, danced. Like, they like, had, like, she called him. And then it cut away. And then when we see them getting out the elevator, you find out they broke up. But I'm like, he just danced with her. Yeah, like, like I get it, but like it wasn't that deep. But I was like, if she broke up with you, and the fact that she was the one press is actually crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, he fell upwards because the Maria girl fine too. I'd have took yeah. it. Hey, but it was also funny because <laughs> at the end when she was helping them, she's like, How when she waved at him, oh! <laughs> he said, Oh no. No. I mean, shit. They might go to America. Jeez. He was scared. Hey, he said, "I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke." My girl I'd already took got beat. I said, "I'd I don't have want took no it." Smoke. I'd have went for it. He ain't got nothing to lose at this point. And she like actually genuinely liked him. 
he yeah, had to change or be yeah. nice or go through a traumatic event for her to be nice to him like yes and, did and speaking of nothing to lose um robbie walked out that room and like looked like he was drunker than uh, uh, he was know. drunk she she, yeah. she she took advantage of him in that situation I, I, so know. and, I, and like, but at well, the same just, time he, well, he was just aware turned of like a did, zombie though. He just yeah, turned he like a zombie, it. like like he was gone, and then Tori just like and he didn't even see her. He didn't even hit an elevator open. Yeah, that's how gone he was. Listen, sober Robbie, I'd have did it. Drunk, no, no, I'm not gonna do it while I'm drunk. But sober, you know, you you gotta be aware of your surroundings, bro. And she don't seem like she's stupid. Like she seems serious about her her karate. So if they did do it, I'm pretty sure she got the protection. I don't think you know. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. Like like for real. Uh, what what's what's her name? Why am I drunk? Uh, Zara, I, Zara, yeah, yeah, no, she, she, got it. Yeah, she, she got it. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, 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 it, and she cold at fighting, and like, she was on Tory heels from like the jump. Like, <laughs> she been on dirt with Tory since they got there. So it's as soon as she saw, uh, she was interested in Robbie. No, it was it was GG after that. Yeah, like she was like, "You got something I want." Like you got something I want, and I'm gonna take it. But you really pick, you're choosing her over me. I'm like, he didn't even know you. That was like your first time interacting. Like, like <laughs> you're, you're like honestly, I said on my like even my wife's like, you're clearly nuts. Like, oh, no, real, no, real. Like you're you're nuts. Like you did this for what to throw off a game in a karate tournament? No, Jeffrey, I agree. She was fine. Like she was fine as hell. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That girl, man, Jesus Christ. I'd, I'd, I'd risk it. And the fact that she cold at martial arts in real life, like I was watching the yeah, she like a Instagram thirteen channel. time champ or something like that. Like her and the dude that play, her and the dude that play Quan are freaking monsters. Like the majority of them was the girl who played Maria, who was dancing with Dimitri. She's yeah. professional. Um, is Miguel, it was a few uh, other is, people. Uh, is is Zolo professional now? Or he had experience coming into the show, but he's not like what they do. Okay. It's the same like, thing that Tanner did. Like Tanner, once like he got the role of Robbie, he started like taking classes seriously and stuff like that. Like that fight with him and Quan is mostly them two. Like Brandon Lee, who played Quan, put it on his uh, TikTok, and it's them. It's mostly them doing that fight. I was you know, like, yes, you know you that's so tell, dope. You know who you could tell it was a body double with sometimes though? Who? Uh, Daniel. Yeah. The fight you can tell when from he, the hair. The fight, yeah, the fight when he first when he first escaped. I said, that's not cuz. I yeah. Not, I said that's not you getting old. You getting old. I get it. And it, but and then Johnny, I said I saw somebody uh post online say that um their biggest problem with part two is the fact that we've lost focus on who the show was originally about, which was Johnny. I mean, okay. <sighs> yes, the show was created for Johnny, but also you don't have the connective tissues to the other characters without Daniel. And so it just, I'm sorry. You can't get Tari with just Johnny. You can't yeah. get chosen or all those Okinawa references and, and, and like Tari silver and all of that stuff. Like it just don't work. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, Let's talk about uh chosen and the fact that he was drunker than a skunk for the entire first episode. The man was throwing flowers randomly. Like, what was his problem? That's because that was the same flower he took to uh, Komiko house, and the dude showed out in the robe. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. 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 Okay, and he okay. got mad, and then he crashed okay. it in the flashback, and so when he saw the, the flower, it triggered him. <laughs> he just started throwing all the flowers on the and ground. The fact that Kreese is sitting there like, uh, maybe we need to control our employee. I said, Kreese, you smug little... I was like, Chris, you have no reason to talk, bro. Like, go go to the nursing home. I'm tired. That of you, that knife salesman was terrified. <laughs> he was. That whole interaction, you said like, like he ain't know what was going on. He was terrified for his life. But then, like, Chosen just started going crazy, and then we end up with Chosen and and, and Kim. Like, I'm here. But like, isn't I'm he like what? Is isn't he like way older than her? Um. Or does he just look old? No, because I don't think... Because you got to think about it. The actor just looks older. Because he's younger than, like, Crease and stuff like that. He's younger than, like, True. Silver and stuff. The actor just look older. 
True, true. But I mean, I'm glad they uh they I'm glad they they linked up. I think Kim is gonna end up coming over to the you know good side after she realizes that like oh Crease, this is your fault. You got one of my students killed. Although you created this monster in the first, well, actually, Crease created this monster. Like he was bad, but she had him under control. When Crease yeah. came in, when Crease came and took over, that's when he like just went off the like went off the deep end of like like bro like we've had. We've had like crazy Cobra Kai villains, but this dude is next level nuts. Like he, you're he that crazy, managed, and you're like 17, 18. Like he managed to do what he couldn't do with Hawk, Robbie, and like Tori and them. Like get him to go over that edge. Even Johnny didn't go that far. Yeah, but he Kenny realized did, he went too far. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny didn't go. Kenny, well, didn't Kenny go that far. Kenny, Kenny was more under silver. True, so, but true. yeah, like it's, I don't know. I, I'm, I heard Dimitri I didn't know karate before coming into the show. I mean, I mean, he, he's still kind of whack though. So, yeah. <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitri trash. <laughs> I, I, I like the, uh, I like the little uh, discussion of how, like, of how they thought when they was on a plane and then it just cuts to them being like, like going in the hospital and they thought, <laughs> I'm thinking like, oh, they finna get kicked off this plane. They finna get in trouble with the law, but then the police officer, man, I'm sorry you guys had to deal with that drunk, with that drunk, rich, rich asshole on the on the plane like that. I said, wait, Yo. they're not in trouble. I said, Miguel Johnny, knocked him out. Knocked yeah, him Miguel did out. knock him out. Johnny thinking that the current, the, the plane can just go straight without bro, following the air current. Bro, that was funny. He said, he said, well, can we can you tell the pot to just drive it straight, please? He was like, he was like, why is the plane doing this curve thing? <laughs> Following the curvature of the Earth, I said, "Well, uh, the Earth is flat, so let's just fly it straight." Right? What? He was like, "He was like the map was flat, so can we just make it go straight, please?" I was like, "What, Johnny?" Fucking no, that, idiot, hey, bro. that was the funniest I ain't gonna lie, line. You, you might be right. You might be right, Johnny. It seems adult, like he's got dumber. <laughs> yeah, he's getting dumber. Like at first, he didn't know how to use a computer, bro. It's two thousand and something. You don't know how to use a computer. Yeah, he like he went and bought a MacBook and was just typing like this. Yeah, he was like the dude told him it was uh he need uh he said it was wireless and so he never plugged it in to charge it and tried to figure out why the thing wasn't working. It's was like Johnny, fucking imbecile, yo. <laughs> but like the man is the man is dumb. Like I fear, like I know, uh, like like Carmen and everybody's so happy that they about to have this baby. I fear for that baby. I. I'm listen, listen, afraid. Listen, listen, I'm listen. glad they have Robbie, Miguel, and Carmen I was about to say. I was about to say. Despite Robbie, when we first beat him, he wasn't that serious about school. We know he a smart kid, and Miguel is smart. He, 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 she got good role models. She'll be fine. She got two brothers. You got a. They got. She it. got a dumb daddy. But like, Johnny, um, don't handle more kids. Carmen, tell him though. <laughs> Like like in part and like part one when he's selling the cars and he's just being super aggressive selling the cars. Like. The fact that he went to that open house just thinking he could get the house. It's like, no, bro. He just walked in. I'll take this out your hands. I was like, what? <laughs> you only got a job. Like, no job. No no collateral. No, no, no check stubs to put up. He said, wait. Well, technically, he had a job now. He worked with Daniel, but yeah. You know, they got their shit together. So hopefully he could come back home and resume his job. He was actually doing decent. Fuck, I dropped my yeah. fruit snack. Bitch. Mad. What kind of fruit snack? I got the Mott's gun. Ah. But I I, I will say, I, I will say, because we got to wrap up like this. This part part two, I was a little nervous. They were pissing me off in the first two episodes. Yeah, from like, eight I'm like, to, I'm from like eight Cobra to ten, Kai. I was like, let's go. Yeah, I'm like, Cobra Kai, get your stuff together. Well, like, I don't think the first episode was bad. I don't think the first episode was bad. I don't think six was bad. It was seven that was like, what the fuck are we doing with the characters? Like, everybody was losing. I was so mad when Cobra Kai got put back in. I said, oh, this is so... Me and Three Dubs was talking beforehand, and, and he was like, that was quite convenient. And when I think about it, I was like, that was convenient. Because that's some bullshit. Because like they were very adamant about them not using performance-enhancing drugs. So I'm like, crazy. But they explained why them Russian characters was off their ass, though, during the damn fights, though. Yeah. Man, they were going the, crazy. Bro, can we, before we go, can pl chat... When he came in and knocked dude clean out, them Russians was one hit of quitters. 
the entire like the entire brawl one hit of quitters like but i'm glad like the like the the like the head of the psychi taikai came and got his lick back because i'm like bro you're not just gonna lay there uh, uh, like 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 you just got not like you got not clean out and then like everybody was like like everybody was like yeah let's go all out battle royale i said this is gonna end terribly but i knew it was over for axel when he broke that camera Quan? When, when yeah when uh when when axel kicked Quan and he broke that camera i said yeah you're about to do something stupid then when i saw the knife I was he wasn't, thinking he wasn't I was even thinking gonna be able to get a touch him. on him. He wasn't yeah. even gonna be able to get a hand on, on Axel. I'm sorry. It, especially if Axel would have saw the, the knife exposed. Oh hell no. He'd have put I don't even think he was trying to fight Quan like that after a while. Like he was just like trying to stop him from hurting Sam. But I think had he saw that knife, that's, that's a funny part. Like, he said, like, Let me go protect my girl. No, nigga, you need to stop bro, getting beat. He had Miguel uh, uh everyone didn't hurt what I said. <laughs> Come out of me sometimes. I'm sorry. Yo, he had Miguel yoked up like this by his shirt. He saw Sam get kicked and just tossed him. I was like, what the fuck? The fact that Miguel was like, what's that guy's problem? I'm like, but no, like man. that, like that's quite like he kept mugging Miguel. I said, I was like, dude, you, you talking... can't be mad because she got a boyfriend. You so you're mad at the time. boyfriend. Like you talk, she was nice to you because she saw you getting beat. You thought there was an invitation to Queen. Like, like, so that's not how we do stuff in America. But then again, he might not know how to like interact with people. True. Dude, he might not know how to interact. He, felt, I'm not, I'm, like, he, he immediately went in for the kiss, though. Like, but like uh, I saw somebody in a reaction say this. Like, he like the way that his master treats him and stuff like that, he probably never had like no love and affection. True. Like, literally, he's been training all his life. That's why he never loses. Like he probably he did misinterpret it, and then he was kind of awkward. And I thought they was gonna leave it at that, but then when they had him just staring down Miguel, I was like, "What the fuck?" Miguel was like, "How'd you even know that that was her boyfriend? Like he could have just been a friend. You just eyed him down. He was gonna he's gonna beat the mess out of Robbie just cause cause he on the same team." Well, yeah, he was fucking beating Miguel and Robbie's ass, bro. That whole fight. I was like, they that's why I said like the Sakai Taika can't continue. They would have to nerf, they would have to nerf Axel for one of them to beat him. And I don't want that. Yeah. Cause I can already see it now. If Robbie beats him, everybody gonna be like, oh, they had to nerf him. If Miguel do it, it's gonna be the opposite too. Like it's not gonna make nobody happy. And it's gonna be kind of unrealistic if one of them beat him one on one. I'm sorry. They gotta do some type of out of Saikai Taikai thing, do it in the valley or something, and just do a 2v1 or something. Yeah. Take your best four or five and take your best four or five. We get a couple of unknown uh iron dragon people to fight, and then we get uh yeah, man, Quan Don was crazy. Yeah, it's that like, it, yeah, like, like honestly, like that I didn't think me, the I didn't think the knife was gonna be like in like I, the I, middle I, of his I, chest. Yeah, like it, I thought it, when he landed, it was like, how did he land? He like went he, up with the right. He went up he had with the, the right. He had the knife in his left, so yeah. I thought it was just gonna like hit his chest, but the it fact, like dead center. Yeah, the fact that Quan barely kicked him. I mean, that uh, Axel barely kicked him. He like yeah, he, he just saw, like tripped. He, he saw the knife. Him. He saw the knife, so he tripped him out of midair, thinking like he would drop it. He didn't think he was gonna drop on himself. Well, yeah, like, that's true. Like Axel wasn't trying. Like Axel was shot, and then Daniel was like, "Come on," and then pulled him over. And then dude was like, first of all, Daniel, you walked up to this dude, and it's a puddle of blood. Why did you call his name? You like the back of like, the, the back of his gi was soaked in blood. Like yeah, like he was soaked already. It was over. Like, like I guarantee you, he pierced his heart or his aorta or something, because he died immediately. Yeah, he was gone. He screamed and then died. Like, like it was no like it was like that was sudden death. Like that was instant. Hey man, we ain't, we ain't got that wait that long for part three. What's that? February thirteenth. Yeah, a couple months. Couple months. Part like I said yesterday, I said I need part three. That's why I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rewatch no, the show. I wanted uh, I want them to take their time, not take their time, but I I like this break because yeah. I don't want it to be the last last batch of episodes I'm not, I know, I'm not ready for the show to be over bro like, see you got into it during COVID I literally found the episodes that they that had dropped on YouTube Red like when they first dropped because the first two episodes were free and then you had to get YouTube Red 
to watch the rest of the season one. And I remember going to my father like, uh, you got YouTube red? I called him. He was like, yeah. I was like, can I get your account? And I've been watching it since. So I, I don't want this show to end because I've been there since day one. I, well, I want them it. to say, you know what? We're going to do one more final season. Or just, I know they gave us, giving us another, uh, uh, another Karate Kid. Give us a Cobra Kai movie, like a send-off movie. Oh, I will take that. Like, give us a send-off movie. Like, don't just end it here. Give us a send-off movie. Like, I well, they're going to do spin-offs, so yeah. But I'm excited like, to see what so, it is. Yeah, it's just it's just so it's just so good. Like, it is good. Like they stuck the landing with part two. Like I was worried, but they stuck the landing. You, we need, we haven't had a big death. We needed a big death, and this, this like it's the one, it's the person you would not expect. Like you would think maybe he'll get hurt or be co- like for being too cocky, or maybe he'd come over and see like, oh, Cobra Kai kids aren't that I mean uh the uh, Miyagi Do kids aren't that bad. I'm being led astray. No, it ended with death and it resulted from crease, which is gonna let er- Kim know and Kim's gonna tell her father what happened. He's gonna be pissed, but this is Crease's fault. Yeah. Johnny knows Crease had that knife. Silver knows Chris had and that she, night. And she didn't want him involved in the first place. Like, when he first showed up, she was like, no. And the grandfather let him in. So, yeah, like, like it, it's going to be, it's going to be, like, it's, yeah, this is going to be big. Like, like, I, I thoroughly.